So guys, welcome back to the vlog. My room is a complete wreck. I can't even tell that my room's a wreck now. Look at that. It looks so much better. Okay. Right? Okay guys, I'm filming this in the mirror. I'm not really sure why and you can still tell. What the fluff? You can still tell that my room's a wreck, but anyways. Welcome back to the vlog. Yes. Welcome back to the vlog, guys. I need a better catchphrase. Help me come up with one down below in the comments because I don't know. I feel like such a loser when I say that. But hey, um, yeah. I don't know. I don't know how to do these intros. Okay. Welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to the vlog. Yeah. Um, all right, guys. So here's the plan for today. I am heading south. South. And I'm going to be doing some beach fishing, a beach day adventure down south because the water is a lot warmer down there. It's about like an hour, hour and a half drive to where I'm going. I have a feeling they may be catching some Spanish blue fish, um, some flounder, maybe. Maybe the pompano are still around. Um, shoot, I might even get lucky and land a big drum or a freaking tarpon or a striper like some people I know I don't know how people get lucky like that here but hey um maybe it'll happen for me today fingers crossed I'm taking Elo so that'll be fun he's my little beach adventure buddy and I don't know why I'm standing like that I don't know what to do with myself or my hands right now <laughs> um yeah so I'm gonna finish packing the cooler uh the car and get Elo and get myself in the car and go so yeah, I will check in with you guys soon. I know you guys wanted to see the booty shot, so we had three cups of coffee, so don't judge me. Okay, bye. This is absolutely normal in the little town that I live. Like, dogs are allowed to roam freely. They don't have to be on leashes or anything like that. Got the car all packed up. Ah, what time is it? It's, ooh, it's not even 10 a.m. yet. I'm doing good. I'm hitting the road. I'm so excited. I have Ela with me. He's so excited. I might get some mullet, but my plan would be to catch some like smaller fish to use for bait. I have been using small bait fish for bait, for live bait off the beach. And there is this bill going to the Senate floor, I think um, this week or something like that, that wants to put size limits on pretty much every fish here. So that includes spot, croaker, the different types of uh, sea mullet, flounder, bluefish, everything. So that means that I wouldn't be able to use those little spot for bait on my live, my live bait rod. So I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, I'm all for conservation and conserving wildlife. And by all means, if a population of fish is really depleted and needs some help to gain itself back, yeah, but like, are we really sure that that's what's causing it, is the fishing? Like, where's the data? I hate politics, but it's a messy situation, and, uh, you know, part of me thinks that a lot of these problems wouldn't even be problems if everybody could just take only what they need, but that's never the case, so just be good people. How about that? I'll tune in with you guys soon.
watchable to be uploaded. Like, it just would not upload. So, I'm really sorry. It was like a 15 minute video. And I answered y'all's questions on Instagram. And I felt like it would have been really great because you guys could have gotten to know me better. And yeah, I spent a lot of time filming it and editing it. And then YouTube is just like not letting it upload. So, I don't know guys. I'm not good at technology and I'm really sorry. And then yesterday, I decided to quit my jewel. I know it's such a bad habit and like I just... It's such an expensive habit too. So I, yesterday was the first day quitting the jewel, which was extremely hard, but I bought a huge bag of Skittles and just like some sweets and candy and stuff. So that really helped. I caved around 5 p.m. and hit it <laughs> like twice and I got so lightheaded, but for the most part, it's been really tough trying to quit it. And I've been really on edge and like craving it, but today's day two and I haven't picked it up yet so I'm hoping to continue this process but like all in the midst of that yesterday I was trying to film a 24-hour pier fishing video for you guys I'm just gonna like in my mind it was gonna be epic I was gonna catch like monster fish off the pier and just like slay day and I ended up catching like a tiny sea mullet um, a pig fish and something else tiny like there were so many rays being caught. It was just really slow because the water is so cold there. So that's why today I'm heading south and I'm hoping that the fish will be running. Oh my gosh, that car just passed that car and literally almost head on collision. Thank you, dear Lord Jesus. So anyways, yeah, I'm heading south in hopes of some better fishing. The water is definitely a little bit warmer down here and I've heard some reports of some Spanish, some bluefish. Uh, there were some pompano, I don't know if they're still around, some nice sea mullet. So a couple weeks ago, a guy caught a massive tarpon off the beach and it's just like, how is that possible? How does that happen? How do people get lucky like that? I used to have the best luck at fishing, but not lately. So yeah, um, hopefully something like that happens, but um, I would be honestly be happy with a nice little run of some Spanish mackerel or something like that. I've got my car fully loaded as you guys can see. And it's a beautiful day. It's hardly any wind. It's like 80 degrees. It's perfect. Everything is aligning. The stars are aligning, guys. <laughs>
to the ramp that I've chosen to go out on down south. This is called ramp 44 and it's also known as the point. So I gotta let some air out of my tires first. <laughs> to get my tires down to 20 psi's using this pin and just guessing how much air I let out so hopefully I let out enough not too much and hopefully I don't get stuck in the sand so woohoo <laughs> driving so they close it down for the birds there's a special kind of bird here I don't know if it's like a sandpiper or what but yeah the Audubon Society closes that down during some seasons for the birds to nest and lay their eggs set up ELO stuff first so we can get out
just ate some Chips Ahoy cookies because that's what you eat at the beach. <laughs> my GoPro screen is showing like that I can't see anything on the screen on the back so I'm hoping that all of this is recording because I'd be really bummed if it's if it's not <laughs> So here I'm getting my bottom rig ready. I have a one ounce weight with a hook on there. I'm gonna put some shrimp on. Fishing has been extremely slow. I've taken off the fresh bait off of one of my rods and I put on A little jig head with one of my little red lures. Right down there at the point, the birds are absolutely going crazy and there are fish jumping out of the water. Contemplating taking my rod, walking down there making some casts because these eggs are swimming. Can't you see I'm trying to fish here? Super cool. No, this is um, this has been a long day out here. I haven't caught a single fish, you guys. There have been people fishing up and down the beach next to me all day long, and nobody's caught a single fish. But I have seen some bait come through, so I'm hoping. High tide comes here pretty soon. The birds may push the bait fish and the bigger fish this way. So, hoping for a blitz, some Spanish, some blue fish. But it is pretty out. Except for this guy, just hooked up to what I think is a shark. Uh, I think it's a shark. He paddled out in his kayak and he's reeling it in. Right now, let me just see if I can get some footage of it for you guys and then there have also been I think false albacore jumping out there this is so cute though this guy's getting his son to reel this massive fish in this is like parenting goals right here. it's a ray darn it I mean that's still kind of cool but like I wish it was a shark this little man just absolutely cranking. <laughs> Good job landing that thing. I was definitely expecting a more excited reaction, but all I got was a real side of stank eye.
here. Yes! Yes! So guys, Spanish mackerel. I'm so excited right now. I haven't caught anything all day long and finally landed one. Woo! Beautiful fish. Yes. <laughs> Got a Spanish mackerel all day. You guys, this is definitely not my Spanish first Spanish mackerel or anything. I'm just, I've just been in such a fishing rut, and this is awesome. Check it out, bud. Check it out. This is what it's all about. This is what it's all about. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. a bunch but that was so worth it fishing can teach you a lot about patience and respect <laughs> but moments like that made my entire day worth it hey bud it's been a trooper out here Spanish mackerel for dinner burnt today um, but what a day I'm gonna end this video where I started it yes my room is a wreck still I bet a lot of you guys are watching this and thinking it's a Spanish mackerel it's one fish like it's not that great well to me that one fish meant absolutely everything. Um, I've been having the worst luck with fishing. In that spot where I was tonight, at the point, fishing for Spanish mackerel, right at sunset, it holds a lot of meaning to my heart. I've done that since I was a little girl with my family, um, particularly my dad. Growing up, I love that moment, that particular feeling um at the point at that hour it's just nothing like it and i mean i fished my butt off all day and didn't have anything happen until <sighs> until this evening i love going out and fishing and getting to feel something out of it like i got a message out of today and you don't always catch a dream fish. You don't go out and you don't always slay fish. I think it makes you respect life, nature, just like have patience. Um, it instills values in you. It makes you have to work so much harder for that moment, which is so important. I just think patience and respect. You have to go through some lows to get to the highs, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I don't know. I'm getting all like... <laughs> philosophical here in my room my messy room late at night i don't really know what else to say other than i hope you guys enjoyed this video and this is probably the weirdest most unprofessional outro ever you guys have seen my catch and then i will fillet it and cook it um i'm honestly probably not gonna cook it tonight because i'm just so tired anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video and please subscribe to my channel i'm gonna go uh Goodbye from the vlog. <laughs> I never know how to end these. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, tell me what you guys want to see next. I'm always open to suggestions. And I, again, hope you guys enjoyed this video and got some sort of message out of it. Um, I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Peace.